Busloads of people are getting ready to head to the state capitol this week. They want to urge lawmakers to take action on a bill that would ban semi-automatic weapons and high-capacity magazines. But those fighting against the proposed bill are already promising legal action. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff is live outside Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Dana, this is the latest version of a bill that went nowhere for years. Yeah, Erica and Joe, another bill that would ban so-called assault-style weapons languished for months. But the Highland Park shooting renewed a push by some to get this type of legislation passed. And now hundreds of local doctors from hospitals like Northwestern are involved in the fight. We don't want to see this anymore. Dr. Selwyn Rogers Jr. is the leading trauma surgeon at the University of Chicago's emergency room. He's one of more than 300 Chicago area doctors who've signed this letter urging state lawmakers to pass the Protect Illinois Communities Act, a proposed law that would, in part, ban so-called assault weapons and high-capacity magazines and raise the FOID card age from 18 to 21. I think the fact that physicians are actually willing to sign this letter is a strong testament to the fact that we've had enough as physicians. The letter is time sensitive. That's because lawmakers will be in Springfield for a lame duck session, a last minute push to pass legislation before outgoing lawmakers leave office and newly elected ones are sworn in. The answer is not legislation. Which is why gun store owner Dan Eldridge is fighting the proposal. He's also the president of the Federal Firearms Licensees of Illinois. I have spoken with leadership on both the House and the Senate side and simply said, no, we're not going to help you build a better mousetrap here. Here's why you can't do this and we'll litigate it. Lawmakers introduced a similar bill a year ago. It languished with no action until December when sponsors proposed this latest version after the statewide election. There have been hearings, but still no guarantee the bill will go anywhere now, despite a Democratic majority, despite the Highland Park shooting. This is just a base appeal to the emotional horror after a mass shooting, and it's, it's a grotesque politicization of, of the tragedy. This is American exceptionalism around gun ownership and the inability to create policies to make our world safer. Rallies are planned in the state capitol for Thursday with buses leaving from the city and various suburbs about 8 o'clock Thursday morning. But lawmakers I spoke with tonight aren't sure what is going to happen to this bill. They are caucusing tomorrow, and that may determine whether it comes to a vote or not. I'm live in Streeterville. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Joe and Erica. Dana, thank you.